Hello everyone, this is part two of me going over my favorite riding spots in San Diego. I left a vote up on Instagram and the majority of you guys said that you wanted me to make this video next, so let's jump right into it. First place is this cool drainage area. It's basically like a skate park that no one knows about. You can spend hours here and you won't get bored of it. It's also perfect for mountain bikes and to pump around. Don't forget the weird highlighted trees that surround it. It's also perfect for doing tricks on the banks of it. When you enter the bank, it has this cool hip that you can hit right or left. It's perfect for beginners if you're learning how to whip because you can go high or low on it. It doesn't look like it has a lot of lines, but I'm always finding new ones to do. It also has a massive flyout. With the big hill that enters the bowl, you can send this thing really far. Also, if you go more into the tree area, then you can find some pretty fun free ride lines. There's also some other stuff to find, like this cool little right hip I found. On to the next place. I don't really know what you call these things, but they're really fun to ride. You can do all sorts of things, like ride up on them, which is very scary. Or if you want to practice dropping off of something, this is where you want to go. If you're a beginner mountain biker, then I recommend coming to this place. You can learn many things, like getting up on your first wall ride. Perfect angle where you lift your front wheel and you can easily get up onto it. Also, right next to it is this cool little bank. It has a really big run up so you can jump it as far as you want to. next spot is this little lot of dirt jumps. It's located on Levante Street. Also, I'm not going to have many clips of me riding here because it's going to be in a future video, but I'll just show you around the place. There's a pretty worn down pump track on the side, but it's really fun to gap the rollers. It's mostly made for kids, but it has one medium sized gap there. But in places like this, it's pretty common for kids to make jumps a lot smaller. All in all, Levante isn't very good, but it's a fun place to stop by. Smaller jumps like this also give you the opportunity to get creative and find new lines. I don't really know if you count this next place as a spot, but they're pretty fun jump trails. Compared to most of the other trails near me, they're the most flowiest. This is my recommendation if you're looking for jumps and brooms, because it has a lot of them. Also, it's the only trail system that I know where the climb up isn't all rocky and steep. There's not many trails around where I feel like the climb up is worth going down, but these trails, in my opinion, are definitely worth the climb up. <laughs> Unlike most pump tracks, this one is made out of dirt. And as you can see, there's almost endless transitions. I ride here almost every single day and I'm still finding new transitions. In my opinion, it's pretty advanced for any other pump track. But once you get everything down, it's really fun. For being a pump track made out of dirt, it goes really far down the hill. And then when you get towards the end, you have this little slalom track that takes you down the hill even further. It's honestly so fun and I plan to build one one day. The pump track comes with a bonus too because it has another side which are bigger jumps. They're really fun jumps but most of them aren't really working right now. But the ones that do work are pretty big in my eyes, super fun to ride. Also, if you're looking to advance to medium-sized jumps, this is your place to go. Anyways, if you watched the video till the end, thank you for doing so. Also, let me know in the comments what I should change about my videos to make them better. Thank you for watching.